Hi, this is Sensor Lab. In the last video, I introduced a gear type precision multi turn absolute position sensor optimized for robots. As a function optimized for robots, I demonstrated receiving position data from multiple sensors simultaneously using a single cable. Please refer to the link in the description below or the link at the top of the video. In this video, I will explain why the gear coder can be called a multi turn absolute position sensor. So, what is a multi turn absolute position sensor? The gear quarter accurately recognizes the current position even if the robot arm moves while the main power is turned off. If the controller does not know the moving angle of the robot arm when the main power is turned off, the robot position must be returned to the origin every time it is turned off and on. And if the robot arm turns too far to one side, the cable may break. The multi-turn absolute position sensor uses low or no power during a power outage. It must detect how many turns the robot arm has rotated when it moves due to inertia or the user. When the power is turned on, it must accurately sense the rotation count and current angle and inform the controller of the position data. As a simple demonstration, I will first move the sensor with the main power turned off, then turn the power back on, and then show how to detect the number of revolutions and angle of movement. Before the main power is turned off, the number of revolutions is 32, and the current angle is 195.5 degrees. Now, I turn off the main power and quickly rotate the sensor disk. A communication error occurs on the master side, and the position data does not change. Let's turn the main power back on, reconnect with the receiving master, and read the position data. The rotation count was suddenly updated to 71 turns, and the current angle was 78.6 degrees. When the sensor rotates quickly with the power turned off, you can see that it has rotated 39 times in the forward direction and stopped at the current position of 78 degrees. You can see from the triangle mark on the disk that it is approximately 78 degrees. This way, the gear coder can detect the number of rotations and the current angle when the main power is turned off. I will explain in more detail a demonstration of multi-turn absolute position sensing under several conditions. I configured the test equipment with a rotating jig connected to the gear coder, a bi SS data master, a laptop, a main power supply, and a switch that turns the main power on and off. The test sequence is as follows. First, when the main power is turned on, I read the current number of rotations and angle to the laptop through the receiving master. Second, I turned off the main power, and communication between the master and the sensor was lost. Third, with the main power turned off, I rotate the disk of the gear coder. Fourth, turn on the main power again and read the current number of rotations and angle. Check whether the number of rotations has been appropriately read when turned off. Let's start testing. The main power is on, and the gear coder LED is green. I will rotate the disc so that the current angle is close to zero. The current number of rotations is zero, and the current angle is 2.78 degrees. When I turn off the main power, the LED on the gear coder turns off, and a communication error occurs on the laptop connected to the receiving master. I will move the disc to a 90 degree position with the main power turned off. When I turn on the main power, the LED on the sensor lights up green. I will reconnect communication with the gear coder and the receiving master and read the position data. The current number of rotations is zero, and the angle has been updated to 95 degrees. I will turn off the main power once again, rotate the disc one turn, and move it to the 180 degree position. When I turn on the main power, the LED on the sensor lights up green. After reconnecting the sensor to the master, I will read the position data. The current number of rotations is 1, and the angle has been updated to 185.9 degrees. I will turn off the main power again, rotate the disc twice, and move it to the 270 degree position. I will turn on the main power, reconnect the sensor and master, and then read the position data. The current number of rotations is 3, and the angle has been updated to 275.6 degrees. This time, let's test in the opposite direction. Likewise, turn off the main power, and I will rotate the disc 3 times in the opposite direction and move it to near 0 degrees. When I turn on the main power, the LED on the sensor lights up green. After reconnecting the sensor and master communication, let's read the position data. The current number of rotations is zero, and the angle has been updated to 16.5 degrees. 
I can see that when the main power is turned off, and the disc is rotated in the forward and reverse directions, the gear coder can detect the number of rotations and the angle. This time, I will test the position sensing when the disc rotates quickly using the motor while the sensor power is turned off. In the actual test of position sensing during a power outage of the gear coder, rather than a demonstration, the power is turned on and off repeatedly when rotating at various speeds using a motor. By repeatedly turning the main power of the gear coder on and off, the position deviation of the reference sensor for comparison with the gear coder is measured to verify the current rotation count and angle sensing function. Let's spin the disc quickly with the main power turned on. The red needle indicates that the angle rotates rapidly, and the number of rotations displayed at the bottom increases. When the rotation stops, the number of turns is 32, and the angle is 195.5 degrees. I will turn off the main power and quickly spin the disc at the same speed. The needle does not move because communication is lost. Turn on the main power, reconnect the sensor and master, and then read the position data. The number of rotations is 71, and the current angle has been updated to 78.6 degrees. You can see that the disc rotated 38 times and 243.6 degrees when the power was turned off. I will test it this time by rotating the disc in the opposite direction. Likewise, we will turn off the main power and quickly spin the disc at the same speed. The needle does not move because communication is lost. I will turn on the main power and read the location data. The current number of turns is 25, and the angle is 264.4 degrees. You can see that the disc rotated 45 times and 174.2 degrees in the reverse direction when the power was turned off. So far, I have shown that gear quarter can detect the number of turns and angle changes when the main power is turned off, and transmit absolute position information, including multi-turns after the main power is turned on. After listening to the explanation, you may think it was just turned on with batteries when the main power was turned off. Please watch the gear quarter's battery consumption video if you think this way. I will only talk briefly here. The critical point is how low the current consumption can be to detect the position normally after the main power is turned off. The gear coder can be used without replacement for over 20 years when using a typical 3.6 volts battery. The gear coder current consumption is approximately 16.5 microamperes when operating on battery, which is 30% of that of other battery type encoders. Compared to the main power operation, position changes can be sensed normally while consuming only 1.4% of current during a power outage. You can see explanations about battery consumption and by SS communication in other videos. If you turn on notifications, it will be more convenient when you watch the following video. Thank you for watching. Sensor Lab